Talk to us a little bit more about the hippocampus. You know, that's been a big area of your focus. What is the role of the hippo- hippocampus and why are you, how did you become so passionate about helping people protect the health and the size of the hippocampus? You know, I did my medical school at Harvard and then I went to do my residency at Johns Hopkins. When I was a resident and later uh, toward my senior years, I worked in the Alzheimer's Disease Research Center at Johns Hopkins and we were monitoring patients over time. These people were coming there for like 20, 30 years. Every year they came and we monitored them to see how their lifestyle was affecting their brain, how diabetes affected their brain. We did cognitive testing, brain MRIs, the blood tests, and, you know, we, we monitored them. And I noticed that many of them who had obesity, diabetes, sleep apnea, things I knew that shrink their brain were diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And I said, wait a minute, these people have a good reason for being forgetful. Why are we labeling them as having Alzheimer's disease? It makes a big difference to say to someone, sir, you have Alzheimer's disease, or sir, you have multiple treatable vascular risk factors, and if we work together, you'll get better. It's a huge difference what happens to the patient, how they feel about themselves, and what happens to their families. And so well, when I looked at their brain MRIs, many of them had smaller cortex and particularly smaller hippocampus. And I realized that hippocampus is the same part of the brain that shrinks with Alzheimer's disease. So two different things can shrink this part of the brain that's so critical for learning and memory. And so if there are things that we can grow it, we can literally prevent Alzheimer's disease. And that's such a huge message. 